What's up, trainers? It's Maddie F. Baby, and today is a beautiful day to battle, and we're going to be going over my first Rose Cup team. Okay, officially I played one series before I made this with my other first team. It had Haunter instead of Drapion. I was like, you know what? I think I want to throw Drapion in right here. So, yeah, this is my official first Rose Cup team. And, yeah, we have Gliscor, which, you know, is pretty cool, but it just, man... Medicham gets the Ice Punch too fast, and I was hoping that I'd be able to take down Medicham with that, but yeah, that double weakness to Ice Punch, yeah, really makes uh, uh, Gliscor not that not that good of an anti-fighter in my opinion, but yeah, anyways, then we brought in an anti-steel, like that Skarmory boy, um, yeah, anti-steel Skarmory in a cast form, sunny form, we got the Drapion with the Bite that doesn't have Fell Stinger, only got like two charge TMs. Maybe three and no. Oh yeah, I just got two in one battle or two TMs. Got a fast TM and a charge TM when I was battling um Andy Pandy, I think it was. Oh no, it was seven. But yeah, we got Drapion. Then we got a Charmer and Wigglytuff. We got a little Steel Boy and Steelix, and then we got Metachamp. Let's go look at AK's team. Yeah, we were gonna be battling Pokey AK today. I hit him up for a best of five. He said he just kind of threw something together, kind of random. So yeah, this is his first little just thrown together kind of random squad. He's got the tough as well. Um, he's also got a Drapion and a Metachamp, and then his other steel. He's got two steel. He's got a double steel, which turns out to be pretty clutch. Um, he's got the Probo Pass and the Skarmory, and then gonna go with the Nido King for some ground action. Let's go look at some battles. Look, I'm Pokieke. I'm over his avatar. See, that's me. I'm Pokieke. This is him. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Alright, so here we go. Here's the battles. Yeah, we uh, don't win the lead here. This is not a good start, is it? Steelix versus Metacham. We want no part of this, so I decided to uh, switch into my own Metacham. Yeah, switch into my own Metacham, hoping to tank like an Ice Punch or a Dynamic Punch. But we do don't get, we don't line it up right. He decides to send something at us, and I think he switches into Skarmory. I think that's what happens here. Sends the Ice Punch flying our way. Sends the Skarmory coming in. We're going to send a Dynamic Punch. It's going to land and do a lot of damage. We wait a while to send that, don't we? We farm a lot. We don't have enough for another charge, maybe, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, Metacham with energy does pretty pretty well against Skarmory. Boom. Gonna go and try to hit an Ice Punch before... Oh, no, we're gonna go for the Dynamic Punch again. I should've went for the Ice Punch here. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that was really dumb. Okay, yeah. But these are some of my first uh, Rose Cup battles. I haven't done the Skarmory versus Metacham since Boulder 2.0, really. But yeah, I should've just went for Ice Punch. They could've KO'd there. I think he was trying to farm me down, so... We all get caught doing that, don't we? Yeah, type one in chat if you uh, if you uh, get caught by what you call it by trying to farm down sometimes. But anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna bring in our Gliscor here, and this is a good matchup for Gliscor because um, I mean at least if you're running the optimal via PV poke, the optimal move set gonna be uh, what you call it. Earthquake and Earth Power, so we're gonna resist all the everything that these Nido Kings have. But then comes Heckin Metacham with these ice punches ready to roll. And he's just always ice punching at me. But yeah, we're gonna send a Night Slash, which you know is gonna be nice for the attack buff. But yeah, it's pretty it's pretty weak, friends. If you guys haven't done much Night Slash, and it's you know it's pretty weak attack even when when uh, hitting for neutral like this, but it does do well against like the ghost, so if it hits for super effective, it will take like a pretty decent chunk out of a Drift Blim. Did that in uh, another match, did like a little three game warm up before this with this team, so it wasn't the first time playing with it, you know. So anyways, trying to get to another nice slash before the, the whatchamacallit comes in, the Ice Punch, but we don't quite get there. It's just like, dude, you're just not fast enough, it's just barely, man. But yeah, so we're not going to be able to farm down even though we're hitting for uh, some good damage now with all these little buffs. I'm not sure how many buffs we can actually get from it. I need to go look into that. Somebody smarter than me can tell me down below. So here I try to tank an Ice Punch or get this Crunch. So he ended up um, switching to Nido King, and I wish I would have not sent the Crunch, but I was already like tapping it as the switch is happening. So yeah, because Earth, uh, Earthquake's going to go ahead and pop a KO onto this, that poison Nido King wants nothing to do with them. But yeah, don't quite make it to the crunch. And uh yeah, it's gonna be not looking good. We're gonna be able to get through this Nido King, but then uh and then see if we can get the Metacham down before Ice Punch comes. So we uh, don't want to take a Earth Power Earthquake right here even though we resist it. Because we're just like so low on HP so we gotta um just send this away and not try to farm anymore. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see, it shows he's already got the Ice Punch ready, so, dang. 
Just missed it. Game one goes to Pokey AK. <laughs> All right, here we go, game two. We got our cast form leading into his Metacham. And yeah, we can tank these ice punches all day, but he, I think he end up, ends up getting a shield off me here. I think, is that what happens? He stays in, and uh, and we, where we both stand, rather, and I, he, like, over farms. No, I switch over to Wiggly Tough. Yeah, that's right. This is one of the games where I brought Wiggly. He just had so much steel, it was hard to bring, you know, hard to bring this Wiggly, but... Yeah, he has Drapion, so that's a good matchup for Wiggly right there. But yeah, anyways, Dynamic Punch hurts, man. That that dual type in right there. But we got some good damage off him. And right here, he's going to try and uh, farm me down. And we're going to be able to get to an Ice Beam and uh, take one of the shields. So Wiggly, um, yeah, does all right right here. And, you know, he's trying to farm some energy. So I definitely understand the reasoning right there. Just farming, farming. Farming on a river. That's totally the song how it goes. But as you can see, um, yeah, we just take so much damage. Uh, and I come in and try to counter down. Like that's the that's the thought process right here. I'm like, hey, let's bring in our meta jam. Let's try to hit a counter or two. We do get a little um, lag after this. I'm not sure if we're both lagging and he's trying to do back to back earth powers, or if he like uh, still needed some some energy somehow. Or yeah, we well, definitely hit like three there. So I definitely have like. At least one counter or two that I missed there. And yeah, then this uh, comes in. So we're going to um, let this one hit us and then go ahead and counter down after that. Boom! Does a nice little chunk off of us. Oh yeah, we don't need counter down. He brings, he switches. Okay, just kidding. But yeah, we have our uh, guy right here. But I'm not sure how much the sky attack. This is one of the main reasons I brought cast, this sunny cast form is to be like, he's like to be my uh, Skarmory counter and like anti-charmer. Um, as well as the Silix being anti-charmer, but, um, whatchamacallit, but I'm not sure how much the Sky Attack is gonna hurt, so I ended up just using my, using my whatchamacallit there, and I don't wanna use my shield, and then take another Sky Attack, and that ended up KOing me, so I ended up, you know, using a Weather Ball, and then going for the second Weather Ball, because I was like, yeah, what if we get KO'd right here, no need to try to farm down, and try to get rid of this Skarmory, and hopefully get a body slam off on the next Pokemon. Yeah, we don't hit all the bubbles there because it's just, you know, super effective and how low the health is. So, I'm going to try and get to another Weather Ball here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we just actually, yeah, we just uh, Ember, or, yeah, we just fast moved down the, the other two Pokemon. GG. 1-1 uh, one, one right now. Boop. All right, so we lead Gliscor, and we're uh, thinking he's going to switch up the lead, but another Metacham lead. So, right here, I'm like, dang, really wish I <laughs> had Wigglytuff, right? But yeah, we're going to send a Night Slash and then dip out, which is dumb. I should, like, maybe farm and try to switch out as the Ice Punch is coming, but I shouldn't send off this move and then dip out and, like, lose my buff. So, not playing that very well. I should have tried to time it where I come in. You're going to see um, this a lot where the Skarmory comes in our Meta Shaman. Usually we actually do pretty well still just because we have the little energy advantage, but definitely not... You know, a great matchup if you don't have the uh, the energy advantage. It, uh, it's not as good. Yeah, yeah if y'all remember from Boulder 2.0. All right, Sky Attack. We just let that one go through, and we're going to try to bring in our uh, our little guy to farm. We get the little pop-up thing, you know how that happens, and we don't want to lose a fast attack, so I just sat there and, and just made sure I timed it right to where I didn't lose anything when I went to go close the, close the thing down. Boom, so now we see how much the sky attack hurts, so that's good, that's good to know. <laughs> it takes a nice little chunk off of us, so can't quite just sit there and farm down um, onto that Skarmory, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like um, AF, if, if Sunny Cast Form is going to end up making the cut as like an anti-Skarm, probably find something a little better. Boom, oh yeah, but yeah, this is where he gets me with the Ice Punch, I'm worried that it's a Dynamic Punch. Man, I'm worried. I should have just let it go through. But hey, sometimes you get it. Sometimes you get God. He got my shield there, boys. All right, so yeah, I was thinking about going and trying to get to uh, Solar Beam. I was like, oh, yeah, duh. We just need to bring in uh, Gliscor. Gliscor. And we're going to have uh, a chance to yeah, just tank all, these, um, tank all these charge moves and save our shields. Get rid of, make him waste some of this energy. Um, buff up our... Buff up our whatchamacallit, our Gliscor with some buffs. And yeah, trying to get a shield, trying to get this Pokemon. Yeah, you know the deal. We're saying this is a good spot for us to be in. This is basically the ideal scenario for our Gliscor and one of the best matchups it has against his squad. 
Boop. Yeah, here we go. Sending some night slashes. Gonna take down the Nitto King. In comes, in comes the Metacham. We won't know port of, of any ice punches. Right here, I think I'm gonna shield and go night slash. And uh, yeah, that, that that's what we do. So, boom, ice punch. Boom, night slash. Gonna be shield. Shield coming in, you know. Now, now the night slash will actually... Uh, hurt since we've done a few and then we just uh, switch this cast form and send a weather ball uh, weather ball off don't want to yeah we didn't we weren't messing around right there all right so we're gonna go up two one on pokey ak Ooh. all right here we go and for this one i was like man i, I want to bring my drapeon and i thought it's really gonna you know make my team not very good my comp so i tried to you know try to protect it and uh yeah i just didn't i thought nido king was it's basically i'm saying i thought nido king was going to come in here and be the reason why i would just get flattened but it turned out to be a different pokemon so here we go going to bring in our cast form and who's the pokemon that's going to flatten us this probo pass here it is boys yeah this probo pass is just going to flatten us for game two i should have tried to bust out the drapeon in game five that was silly of me and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna suffer heavily in this matchup but weather ball actually does do pretty well against the uh probo pass but he's able to farm us down here and store some energy for later boys so yeah there we go weather ball gonna get him nice and low but yeah we're getting farmed down these rock throws hurt and we didn't bring our Medicham. Yeah, if we had Medicham instead of Wigglytuff, we'd be, you know, we'd be doing all right. Wouldn't be as bad of a situation. But yeah, we just basically decided to bring in Wiggly as a third shield. I don't know, maybe that's a mistake I made. But I was like, you know what, I know he's going to ha have some energy. And yeah, so actually, yeah, he's able to farm. And then he gets a lot of a lot of work from this Proba Pass. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have tried to use it as a third shield. Maybe I should have tried to bring in um this uh drapeon but i was pretty far behind at this point and yeah I mean, it wasn't I, I, yeah i just bad team comp really put myself at a disadvantage but hey we wanted to see drapeon i want to see some rose cup drapeon yeah even though i don't have fell stinger you know r.i.p i just used like a bunch of charge teams getting to night slash on this glitch score that i made <laughs> and and you know it's all right it's a it's been all right so far but i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it not with all the not if i see a bunch of meta champs i want to i want to invest in them a champ but mine's like my shiny one and i don't have any like good iv ones that are um that are regular machamps. Sorry for just quitting commentating on this game. It's just a wash at this point. He just wrecked me. But yeah. But uh, anyways, my machamp. I got a shiny one, but it's like five attack, four defense, and like three HP or something. It's really bad. All right, here we go. Dang it, it's Metacham again. So I was really hoping. Um, who was it? Th oh yeah, I was hoping he'd bring a Nido King. Yeah, I was hoping he'd lead with that Nido King. So I led with the Gliscor, and yeah, we don't want no part of those ice punches. You know what I've been doing here. I've been switching in. We don't have like a crazy good Metacham counter besides that all wiggly tough, but even then the dynamic punches hurt if he's got the super energy advantage. But yeah, you've seen this happen. Um, he's going to bring in the Scar move right here. He both do something different. I go for Ice Punch and he doesn't shield the shield it. So he's or he shields it. So he hasn't been shielding. And he's been letting the dynamic punches go through and it's been really hurting the Scar So right here. I was like, man, eventually he's going to shield these things. So I do end up getting a shield there, which is nice, and not wasting, you know, all the energy of a dynamic punch, so that worked out pretty nicely, but, um, doesn't, uh, yeah, we'll see how the rest of it goes. Dynamic punch is gonna land this time, and then it's like, a race. Can we actually down him with our counters? Is he gonna farm us down? Find out on the next episode of Pokemon Go. Battles with Maddie and Pokey AK. Find out. Oh, yep, you found out. Yep, the Skarmory just wins. But we bring in the cast form, and we're able to uh, fast move down before the Sky Tech comes in. So really awesome. And right here, I'm like, well, heck, friend, this is not a good situation. But hoping that I could, like, maybe land an Earthquake. You know, that was, like, the real plan right there. I was hoping to switch in and try to land the Earthquake, and I don't think it would just be a Night Slash. So, dang, just... He was fast on that switch. He knew he wanted to come over to this Metacham. He's got some energy on it. Um, he's got some shield left. We both had some shield left. Boom. Actually, he's, yeah, he saved his shield, so now he's looking real good. I did have enough for, like, two Night Slashes, though, but still. 
He still got that shield. He still got like a full Probo. So Probo coming in clutch for us. Let's see. Can we somehow get to another night slash and, and, and have him overform us or something? Oh, we do. Wait, what happened there? I can't remember. Maybe he was just trying to... I don't know what happened there. I guess he... Oh, yeah, he's about to use his shield and then some nice. So he was just farming, farming, farming. And yeah, he just used his shield there. That's what happened. Okay, yeah. That's why he just was farming so much. I forgot for like... That, even though I just mentioned like 10 seconds ago that he's got that shield right there. So here we go. And yeah, he switches in and immediately rock slides us. So GG, Probopass coming in clutch. Wishing that I could get my Medicham lined up against him this round. But yeah, very well played. And yeah, yeah, just very well played, bro. Thank you for the battles. If y'all haven't checked out PokeAK, please do. If y'all haven't checked out me, please subscribe. Yeah, but I'm going to have his link in the description too. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. And hope that you guys enjoy Rose Cup. I will see you guys soon. Peace out. Bell Sprouts. Bye.